There's a food niche on YouTube that millions are watching, but even more know nothing about. I'm not talking about foodie ASMR or outrageous eating challenges. I'm talking about village food channels. Through the power of YouTube, motivated creators from all over the world are able to make a living by picking up a camera and telling the stories of food all around them. From Around Me BD, a village food channel in Bangladesh with over half a billion views. Mui Mim Te, a Vietnamese village food channel based in the Mekong Delta. And my new friends at Village Food Factory, a South Indian channel whose most popular video reached over 50 million people. Today, I'm in India, joining Village Food Factory in their first ever collaboration. Their channel is blowing food channels out of the water. I'll get a behind the scenes look at how they make a video that millions are dying to see. Today's menu, homemade mutton, seasoned and spiced with daddy's secret masala blend. This was a whole sheep like a few hours ago, and then now look at all this food. This is incredible. But before we start, I gotta know, why did they call him daddy? Well, hello everybody, and welcome to my talk show. Today we have special guest, Village Food Factory, and by my side is Irfan from Irfan's View. My name is Sunny from the Best Ever Food Review Show. Should we clap? Yay. I don't know. What do we do? Is this good? Okay. <laughs> Today we're just outside the city of Chennai at a local orphanage. The plan is to cook up a feast and share it with the children here. Something Village Food Factory does often after preparing huge amounts of food. First of all, all three of our channels are here. It's an epic collaboration, and I want to say thank you so much for coming here today. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. This is Arumugam, the face of Village Food Factory. You may know him as Daddy. Why do people call you Daddy? So his son, when he shoots it, he calls him Daddy. Ah, so now everybody calls you Daddy. Yeah. 64 years old and still kicking out unique recipes several times a week for the world to see. This man knows his way around a kitchen, especially when the kitchen is a fire pit in the middle of nowhere. I noticed you have six fingers on one hand. Seven fingers. You have seven fingers? Yeah. Left side seven fingers, right side six fingers. Oh, it's very unique. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Today we are eating a sheep. How are you going to cook it? Mutton chuka. Mutton chuka is a local dish in the Indian state of Tamil Nadu. You can find it all over in restaurants, each with their own style. But today, I'm lucky enough to taste Arumugam's recipe directly. Step one, dispatch one sheep, draining its blood. Did he kill it in the halal way? Yes, he did. He said a little prayer and then he cut it. And then the important thing is when you do halal, you're taking all the blood outside. It's impurity. So. I've eaten a lot of blood in my day. <laughs> one, two, three, don't think, just chew. It's one of those shocking foods because there's blood in it. Wow, it's actually good. This is really blowing my mind. A lot of people don't like that though. I've seen. Remove the skin and take out the organs. We'll need those later. Do we eat the balls? Uh, people eat it, but I don't eat it. I don't like it. Let's ask Daddy. Uh, Chabra. Oh, he said, yeah, we can eat. Oh, do you think you can bend your rules for today? Yeah, later. Yeah, sure, we'll do. This video is kind of half about the preparation of the sheep, but also about how these guys operate. Right now, they're essentially staging the thumbnail. The thumbnail is so important. That's like your movie poster for the video. So it needs to be appealing, appetizing, interesting, create curiosity so people will click on it. Epic thumbnails, something many village food channels seem to have in common, and the more epic, the better. Some might call it photoshopping, but I call it artistic alterations through the use of software enhancements. Oh my gosh. Have you ever seen anything like this in your life? This man just inflated these sheep lungs. Well, they look very bright and healthy now. Daddy, <laughs> the sheep, not smoking. And I smoke it. Chin up, eyes bright, smile wide, snap a pic, and that is how you make a million dollar thumbnail. We are on a tight schedule. The kids are in class now, but they've got to eat soon. The entire sheep is chopped into tiny pieces, including the head and organs. Then it's rinsed clean a few times with water. Ingredients are ready, time to cook. What if we touch the wood? Do this. Indian food is all about the spices, and Village Food Factory's menu is no exception. Daddy, what do you call this pan? Got it. Our pan is right here. Coriander. Oh, coriander. Ah, sure. 
Okay, I did it wrong already. Yeah. All right, then we got cumin seeds. Pepper. Peppercorns. Red chili. Red chili. Ooh, that is gonna be spicy. This is their daily life. Daddy does the cooking, the oldest son does the filming, editing, and thumbnail design, and the next oldest son helps with everything else. Their shooting style is simple and straightforward. How to get a chef to my not like those overproduced food shows that count on tons of cutting and music to keep your attention. They shoot with a DSLR and edit videos in such a way that you feel like you are there alongside them. In this channel, 28% people are watching is from US. Really? Yep. For me, 32%. So similar. That's crazy. I believe it's this real and simple look into rural life and village Indian cooking that's grabbed the attention of millions. And all those people are gonna watch us eat sheep spleen right now. Are we gonna eat that like a popsicle? Like ice cream? Very, very tasty. Very tasty, okay. Take a look at that. It's got a little bit of carcinogens on the outside. But the inside, that's kind of what it looks like. It's just kind of a dull brown. All right, so we're dicing it into little pieces. It's still steaming hot off the fire. Oh, bite it? Okay, you can have that piece. <laughs> it's like a liver pate. Very charred on the outside, but there's no salt or anything on here. He just threw it on the skewer and put it on the fire. It's good? Very nice. Oh, you're hungry. I'll have a little bit more. Yes. Look at this one. Oh, it's a little red in the middle, but he's eating a red piece too, so I think it's gotta be fine, right? I gotta say, it's all right, but you're a big fan. Back to the mutton chuka. Spices are roasted, time to grind. Then take a huge pot and add water, bay leaves, cloves, star anise, cinnamon, and the mutton. The whole animal became just a little bite-sized pieces, bones and everything in there. Even the head of this sheep, they even chunked into these little pieces that you see in here. Add turmeric and salt. While that boils, I get a chance to learn how Village Food Factory operates behind the lens. Speaking with Arumugam's oldest son, Gopina. How long did it take you to make money from the channel? Just three months. What the? What, what have I been doing wrong? <laughs> it took me like 1.5 years. <laughs> He's like, this guy sucks at this. This is the magic of YouTube. Nobody here approached a powerful film studio in India and pitched a cooking show idea to executives. They picked up a camera and got to work and went from obscurity to authority. How has YouTube changed your life? Totally yeah. changed. Rental car bura before this, he even had a rental car, but now he has a own car. Own house. Own car. New house? Yes. A new house. When did you get the house? For uh, near uh, seven months. Daddy, <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> Before YouTube, nobody respected them like in their village, but now uh, everybody wants to see daddy. For anyone who's flirted with the idea of starting a channel, appearing on screen, or picking up a camera, if you're looking for your sign to go ahead and get started, this is it. These guys are an inspiration and a symbol of possibility. Are you worried about running out of ideas? Cooking is the, the innovation. Cooking is the endless. He said he's not afraid. Cooking is an innovation, so he can create more and more in the coming days. Mm, that's amazing. Yeah, I agree. So guys, we're halfway through the cooking process, so he's gonna put some of the broth into these cups here. I don't know about all this stuff being metal. That is incredibly hot. Very like mutton and turmeric kind of smell to it. Mmm. It's like almost creamy, it's so fatty. That's very yummy. Look at this. It's kind of like a mutton tea. Mutton soup. Mutton tea. <laughs> it's very delicious. It's just super fatty, a tons of mutton flavor and, and some salt. It's like an appetizer. Yeah. Okay. The dish is not yet complete, but daddy cannot help but give me a taste of steaming hot mutton. Okay, here we go. Oh, mm, uh-huh, more broth. <laughs> it's delicious. Mmm, sticky, chewy mutton, I love it. It's like I got the broth, I got the meat, the it's perfect marriage, like father and mother. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> match is the taste. The match is the taste, he says. Mmm, this is good stuff, man. The kids are having recess, and we are at an all-out sprint. Next, in a hot oiled pan, add curry leaves, dried chilies, shallots, garlic, and ginger paste. Wow. All these ingredients just get nice and happy together inside. Can I eat it now? Can I eat now? Yeah. Oh, I'm just, I was joking. 
but thank you. <laughs> Add in Arumugam's homemade masala, reintroduce the meat, then bring back a bit of broth until it becomes thick. I'm really earning my keep here. Here we go, it's done. Look at this masterpiece. It looks so good. What I can't believe is this. This was a whole sheep like a few hours ago, and then now look at all this food. This is incredible. How many people can eat this? I think he said if they're my size, we can feed four or five people. The smell is mesmerizing. It's just very rich, oily. I'm gonna just start with an onion. Onion is good. Oh. You know it's good when even the onions are good. It soaked up all the flavor. <sighs> Are you saying suck it? Guys, they put literally every bone of the sheep into this beautiful creation. You have a bone too? Yeah. Mm. Cheers. Wow, warm, rich, fatty. All the marrow is gone from inside now. It just sucked right out. Yeah, yes, you gotta be determined to get this bone marrow out. Here's a nice piece. Oh. This blend of seasonings is just so delicious. The cumin's coming through, the peppercorn, every part is perfectly cooked. You kind of never know what you're biting into, but that's kind of the fun of it. What is your favorite part? Liver. Liver? Let's try some liver. Mmm, <laughs> genuinely delicious. Oh my God. The final thing we have to do, we're gonna share all this food with these kids next. There's a storm coming. And I need a hand to hold With the fear of being here on my own With the winds blowing And the leaves they turn to gold Like they did with you those summers ago We are taking care of the children with the family mm. Me, my mom and dad and my wife Our main goal is to give good education to the kids And our hope is in coming generation, they will be a engineer, a doctor, mm. a lawyer. But what about a food show host? Would that be okay if they hosted a food show? Yeah. That would be okay? Yeah. Okay. Oh. I can't stop thinking about those years ago For Village Food Factory, their plan is to keep going, keep making more fun food videos. And as their channel grows, they've even considered shooting around and outside of India. As far as they're concerned, the possibilities are endless. Was the mutton good? Yummy! Success. Did I keep thinking about those years ago? Finally, the best ever India road trip has come to an end. From Mumbai to Chennai, we've traveled hundreds of miles and met locals who've made lifelong impressions. This is the India I know. Hospitable, friendly, kind, and always willing to share some damn good food. It has been a huge pleasure meeting you today, working with you, and most of all, trying your food and learning about your success. So thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Also, Irfan, thank you for introducing me to everybody. Please subscribe to these guys. They're doing tons of huge scale, interesting food videos. Please subscribe to this guy. He's doing food reviews throughout India and soon beyond India. And if you're traveling to Vietnam, let me recommend adventuring alongside a guide from One Trip. One Trip is the highest rated tour company in Vietnam, doing tours from north to south in all major cities, including Hanoi, Nha Trang, Da Nang, Hoi An, and Saigon. You can experience food tours, adventure tours, and more. To learn more about One Trip, check out the links in the description down below. I will see you next time. A Peace! Very nice. Simon says jump. Simon says stop jumping. Simon says say goodbye.